Our money lead now, President Trump just moments ago touted a $16 billion taxpayer-funded bailout for farmers, farmers hurt by the escalating trade war with China and specifically Chinese tariffs against American agricultural products. President Trump claims that Beijing will foot the bill for the bailout through the tariffs imported, imposed on Chinese goods, but that's simply not accurate. Tariffs don't get paid into the U.S. Treasury. American consumers are the ones bearing the brunt of increased prices on Chinese imports to the U.S., so Americans in some ways are now being hit twice as hard. Uh, joining me now to talk about this and more is Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue. Uh, Mr. Secretary, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. Take a listen to what President Trump uh, said about this bailout. Sure. As it all comes from China, we'll be taking in, over a period of time, hundreds of billions of dollars in tariffs and charges to China. And our farmers will be greatly helped. So I know you know this, but the Treasury Department doesn't take in the tariffs, so it doesn't, you can't just reroute it to the farmers. To be clear, this is going to be paid for, $16 billion, by the American taxpayer, correct? No, I don't agree with your premise, Jake. The Treasury does take in the tariffs. The tariff money charged to these imports will go to the uh, Treasury. And while it doesn't go directly, it again it goes back through the Commodity Credit Corporation back to the farmers. But take a listen to Republican Senator Mitt Romney, who supports this trade war, supports yeah. the tariffs imposed by the Trump administration, talking about this. Okay. The cost of tariffs is borne by the American public. I mean, we're the ones that pay the tariffs. The Chinese don't write checks to the American Treasury. Instead, as we buy products, we're paying for the cost of the tariff. Uh, that's real. Isn't Mitt Romney correct? Uh, no, I don't agree with Mitt Romney. I think, again, if you look at the inflation rate since the uh, earlier tariffs, you'll see the inflation rate has gone down. If consumers were paying more, why wouldn't it go up? The president said today he's never heard a farmer express frustration about these policies. Um, we have. Uh, take a listen to an American farmer who's been hurt in this trade war with China and is preparing to lose a significant chunk of his income. Between me and my daughter, together, probably 100, 150000 Did you vote for Trump? I did. I'll never vote for him again. So I know you know this because that's the reason for this $16 billion in bailout money, but, but there are real farmers out there who are hurting from these tariffs. Look, there's legitimate anxiety about prices, which have gone down long before President Trump came into office. This is a long-term slide. Obviously, the tariffs have compounded that, but the fact is President Trump's tariffs and the retaliatory tariffs from China is not the only reason there's economic stress in the farm community. Right, but there are a lot of farmers who are very upset and very worried about what's going on, especially people who are growing the, the goods uh, that are being hit specifically by Chinese retaliatory tariffs. And that's why President Trump has committed this $16 billion to get them through this time until we can get normal, fair, reciprocal trade agreements with China. Treasury Secretary Mnuchin acknowledged that trade talks with China are not moving in the right direction. What's your message to the farmers and the others suffering from this trade war uh, if a deal doesn't happen between President Trump and President Xi in the next few weeks? Well, again, plan for the market, plan for uh, what the prices you see and the crops that you usually grow. Don't plan for government programs. And hopefully we can continue talks uh, at some point. President Xi and President Trump will probably visit during the G20. I'm hoping at some point, we're all hoping that we can get a trade deal. Farmers would rather have trade than aid. How confident are you that a deal will happen in the next few weeks? I wouldn't say in the next few weeks. I won't put a timetable on it, but I believe we will get a fair reciprocal trade deal with China in the future. I want to ask you about this New, New York Daily News report on the Batista brothers yeah. from Brazil. Mm -hmm. They run the massive JBS yeah. SA mm -hmm. meatpacking right. company. It's under investigation. Received more than $60 million in U.S. taxpayer funds, the bailout funds from previous bailouts to help struggling farmers. Shouldn't these bailout funds only go to American farmers and companies? They're going to American farmers, Jake. JBS buy, bought all of that pork. They sold pork to the United States so we could distribute it through food banks. Every bit of that, every pound of that pork came from American producers. There was no other foreign protein in there whatsoever. But the bailout money didn't go to the Batista brothers, didn't go to the company, it just went to the farmers? We bought the American pork grown by American producers that was processed by JPS. They're an American company operating here. Farmers sell to them every day. Can you guarantee that this new bailout money, the $16 billion, that that money will only go to Americans? 
I can guarantee you that every dollar will go to products that are contributed and grown by American farmers, ranchers, and livestock growers. All right, Agriculture Secretary Sonny Perdue, good to see you. Thanks so much for coming and asking, answering our questions. We appreciate it. Thank you, it. Jake. Thank you.